This video will include some discussion about the upcoming decisions high school students in Des Moines Public Schools have to make regarding their courses and grades moving forward. Students, you will need to decide how you want to move forward in each of your scheduled four credit high school courses. You may pick a different option for each course depending on what is best for you and your future goals. If you have questions about which option is the right one, please reach out to your current teachers or high school counselors for guidance. They are available to answer questions via email or other messaging apps that they participate in. You can see your current grade as of March 30th by logging into the Infinite Campus through your student or parent portal accounts. Teachers worked very hard to get grades updated by this date, so your grade in Infinite Campus portal should reflect your current score in the course. As we move forward, various options are available based on your grade level and the types of courses you are taking. 9th through 11th graders and seniors have specific options from which they can choose, and concurrent or DMACC credit courses do as well. We will now walk through each of these one at a time and go over the various choices that you have. We're going to start with 9th through 11th graders. For all high school credit only, meaning non-college, non-dual credit, non-concurrent enrollment courses, students in grades 9 through 11 have three options. Seniors also have these same three options. Option one, take the earned grade you have in the course as of March 30th. Option two, work with your teacher to improve your score by showing improvement on content that they taught before we left for break on March 13th, um, and option three, withdraw from the course entirely. Now we'll walk through each of these options one by one and what implications each choice has for you. Option one, take your earned grade as of March 30th for the course. If you do this, the letter grade you earned will be added to your high school transcript and you will earn credit for the course, assuming you have a passing grade of a D or higher in the class. This earned grade will count towards your high school GPA. If the course is part of a sequential course pathway, taking this option will allow you to advance to the next course next year, assuming you have a passing score. What this means, for example, is that if you are taking Spanish 2 this year and you go with this option, earning a passing grade in the course, you may move on to Spanish 3, the next sequential course in the pathway, next year. Option 2. Work with your teacher to improve your grade by showing improved learning on content that was taught before we left for break. This means you will work with your teacher to show your learning on the materials and content that they taught you prior to leaving on March 13th. This does not include new topics or content that wasn't taught at that time. If you go with this option, after submitting your work, your teacher will update your grade and your new letter grade will be added onto your transcript. You will earn credit for the course if you have a D or higher in the class, and that letter grade will be factored into your GPA. Just like option one, you may move on to the next sequential course in a course pathway if you pass the course and go with this option. Option three, withdraw from the course entirely. This must be decided and communicated before April 30th. If you go with this option, you will get a W, which means withdraw, on your transcript. This is not a penalty. It just indicates that you were enrolled in the course and did not finish it. You will not earn credit and it will not impact your GPA. If you go with this option, you will be withdrawing from the course and not finishing it. If you want to advance to another course that is the next higher level in the pathway, you will need to complete this course before doing so. This may mean that you need to go back and retake it again in future years. For seniors, you have the options one, two, and three that we just discussed. You also have a fourth option. You can take your earned grade as a pass, no pass, rather than the letter grade that you earn. Just like ninth through 11th graders, you have option one to take the grade that you have in the class as of March 30th. This means you will get your earned letter grade on your transcript, and if that grade is a D or higher, you will earn credit for the course. This will count in your high school GPA. Option two, you can work with your teacher to improve your grade by showing improved learning on material that was already taught before we left for break on March 13th. This will end up with a grade on your high school transcript. If you have a D or higher, you will earn credit for the course and it will be factored into your GPA. 
Option three, withdraw from the course entirely. Seniors, you may only do this if the course is not needed to meet graduation requirements. Additionally, while some courses are not needed to meet your high school requirements, they may be counting towards your college admissions requirements. If in this case, choosing to withdraw from the course could negatively impact your college admissions and future plans. If you are concerned about this, please reach out to a high school counselor or your college admissions advisor to ensure you aren't doing something that will hurt your admission status or future goals. This option would result in a W on your transcript and you would not earn credit for the course. It would not be factored into your GPA. Seniors, you have a fourth option from which you can choose as well. Take your earned grade as a pass, no pass rather than a letter grade. If you do this, you earn a passing grade in the course, meaning the equivalent of a D or higher, you will get a P for pass on your transcript or conversely an NP for no pass. You will earn credit for the course if you pass, but it will not factor into your GPA calculation. Additionally, in Des Moines, we have concurrent enrollment and AP courses that have some special considerations for what you can do moving forward. In DMPS, we have classes that are advanced placement or AP courses. We have concurrent enrollment courses. Sometimes you will hear these called college credit, dual credit, or DMAC credit courses. We also have courses that are both AP and concurrent enrollment courses. If you are unsure what type of course you are taking, please reach out to your teacher to ask. AP only courses have the same grade options as previously described based on your grade level. For concurrent enrollment courses, which includes those courses that are both AP and DMAC credit courses, you have the following options. Option one, withdraw from the course entirely. Option two, remain in the course for both high school and DMAC credit. And option three, take the course for high school credit only, withdrawing from the DMAC portion of the class. Option one, to withdraw from the course entirely. If you go with this option, you will get a W for withdraw on both your high school and DMAC transcripts. You will not earn any high school or DMAC credit for the course, and there will be no impact on your GPA. Option two, remain in the course for both high school and DMAC credit. If you go with this option, it is important to know that because the course is offering DMAC credit, there could be additional content that you must cover to earn that credit. You should have received an email from your teacher telling you what work remains and what competencies have yet to be covered for you to earn DMAC credit. If you didn't get that email, please reach out to your teacher directly. If you choose this option and, and complete the additional required work to earn DMAC credit, you will get your earned letter grade on your high school and DMAC transcripts. You will earn high school credit if you earn a D or higher in the course, and you will earn DMAC credit if you earn a C or higher. These earned grades will factor into both your high school and DMAC GPA calculations. DMAC does provide students who earn a C or higher the option to take the course as pass no pass for both your high school and DMAC transcripts. If you go with this option, the, the result would be you earning credit for the passing grade, but it would have no impact on your GPA. Option three, take the course for high school credit only. This means you withdraw from the DMAC portion of the course. Doing this will result in you getting a pass or no pass on your high school transcript, depending on the equivalent grade that you earn. You will get a W for withdraw on your DMAC transcript. If you pass the course, you will earn high school credit. You will not earn any DMAC credit as you are withdrawing from that portion of the class. There will be no impact on your high school or DMAC GPA with this option. If you are in a course that is both an advanced placement, AP, and concurrent enrollment course, you may take your earned letter grade on your high school transcript rather than the pass no pass option. If you did this, the earned letter grade would then factor into your high school GPA as a weighted course in your calculation. Now that we've talked about the options that you have, let's talk briefly about how you will communicate your choices to your school. You will receive a link or possibly two links from your high school administrator, teachers, or counselors to communicate your choice for each course. They will be sending this out shortly if you haven't already received it. It will be sent via Infinite Campus Messenger, to your email, text message, via School Connects, and any other apps that your school uses to send messages home. There is a different link for concurrent enrollment courses and all other classes. Please complete both surveys if they apply to you. 
you will need your DMPS student ID number to complete the surveys. If you still have questions about your choices or what is the best option for you moving forward, please don't hesitate to reach out to your teachers, high school counselors, or building administrators. They are available to help you through this decision if you need additional support. Thank you.